Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. All right, folks, so let's talk about embarrassment. I keep hearing that word being used over and over again to describe the events of the McCarthy House Speakership vote, and it's always directed at Matt Gates and Lauren Boebert. What an embarrassment they're causing. Sowing chaos and division, blah, blah, friggin' blah. Let's really have a conversation about embarrassment. Who is really embarrassing GOP voters right now? Is it Matt Gates, Lauren Boebert, Chip Roy, and others who are making principled stances, making coherent arguments, and lobbying credible criticism as they represent the voices of their constituents? Or is it the filthy, power-hungry, power-tripping neocon goons like this Alabama clown, Mike Rogers? We get it, old man. You're a real tough guy. Really, I've never seen anything so cringe in my entire life. This fake macho guy persona, this tough guy mobster attitude of attacking and threatening people, as if it somehow makes you a real man, a real tough guy. The only people who act like that are insecure little clowns. And this Mike Rogers guy, while before these events probably nobody even knew who the hell he was, well, he's exposed himself over the last week. And man, what a joke this human being is. Let's talk about embarrassment. This is truly embarrassing. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so some of you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Some of you are probably confused. But the name Mike Rogers, it's something we've been hearing. Here's a video clip with Chip Roy speaking on Fox News, the first time I've heard Mike Rogers' name. Well, it's been public information out there that Mike Rogers threatened to say he's going to kick those of us off of any committees who dared to challenge the uh, coronation of the speaker. So my first introduction to Mike Rogers is him straight up just being a thug threatening people who don't vote for McCarthy who don't do what he wants with removal of their committee positions not exactly sure whether he has the power to do any of that to begin with but it shows his character a whiny little crybaby a little wannabe authoritarian do as he says or he's gonna blackmail you that's the first time I heard his name and now here we go with Mike Rogers again chaos on the house floor angry GOP representative Mike Rogers lunges at Matt Gates after he refuses to support McCarthy on the 14th vote here's the incident that occurred initially as you can see after Matt Gates voted present GOP representatives including Kevin McCarthy start surrounding Matt Gates it seems like they're just having a dialogue a regular discussion not really much to see here then Mike Rogers from the back enters the scene and chaos ensues here's a great photo that was taken from a better angle this right here is Mike Rogers an angry wannabe mobster wannabe thug there's no other way to describe it I don't know maybe it's the way that I was taught from my father but this kind of behavior I just find so despicable this sort of overt fake macho man tough guy act trying to lunge at or assault people who say things you don't like oh you poor little baby I was taught from a very young age that sometimes you're gonna have to fight sometimes it's necessary to get down and dirty but you never attack people you defend yourself you defend your brother you defend your family you defend your honor this is called being a thug from my perspective and from my upbringing at least a little crybaby loser I cannot stand the idea of people who cannot handle disagreement Matt Gates disagrees with you so what you're gonna lunge at him you're gonna attack him what are you friggin Antifa what's the difference between Mike Rogers and the Antifa lunatics that we criticize for the exact same kind of behavior there is no difference the whole thing is just so cringe and it's especially cringe if you're this guy Oh, oh, scary. Oh, 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 shiver my timbers. Shut up, man. But anyways, basic morals and values aside, you know, just being a normal human being, a regular adult, who's not a complete unhinged lunatic, let's continue to have a conversation about embarrassment. You know, this entire time, the Kevin McCarthy faction of the GOP have been the source of embarrassment. Matt Gates and Lauren Boebert have simply wanted a discussion. They wanted concessions or they wanted a brand new leader. They were putting up a challenge, a democratic challenge that is part of the process. There's a vote for a reason. There's nothing written in the Constitution that House Speakership shall not be challenged. They were legitimately participating in the democratic process of electing a House leader. And all we ever saw from the Kevin McCarthy faction was a bunch of fake outrage, pearl-clutching, crying, whining, how dare you, calling the other side the Taliban 19 or the Taliban 20. Dan Crenshaw still standing by his statement that those who oppose 
oppose Kevin McCarthy are terrorists. Mike Rogers threatening people, blackmailing people, lunging at Matt Gates. Yet we're supposed to believe that the embarrassing side, the unhinged crazy side, the extreme side, is the side that was simply asking for accountability, challenging power, asking questions, and scrutinizing the future agenda of the GOP. Give me a break. These entitled loser neocon hacks have always been the source of embarrassment, and they continue to do so. And now CNN is having a field day with this Mike Rogers event. Does not look Matt Gates does not look like he is willing to acquiesce and change his vote from present. And look, well, yes. some guy in the back who was Literally went out to yell at Gates in a pink tie, and another member Hold pulled him back. McHenry seems to be trying to talk Kevin down, Kevin McCarthy down a little bit here. McHenry, of course, was key ally. Uh, when you saw Mike Rogers of Alabama appearing to have to be physically restrained. Yeah. That is a pull oh, back. Mean, oh, pull back, I mean, yeah. Right on the face, somebody yeah. grabbed him. Mm -hmm. Physically watch, restrained. Watch, the face. watch this again. Watch his face. Yep. <laughs> wow, wow. As Kevin McCarthy is wow. is stonily walking away. Just to Scott, you said this this is treachery. Absolute tre Well, first of all, I'd like to thank all of our viewers for watching CNN's exclusive screening of Snakes on a Plane Part 2. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen the amount of treachery, not since 1856, when Preston Brooks came to Charles Sumner, have we seen this kind of treachery under the Capitol Dome. This is... Was that on C-SPAN? This and, is crazy. And, and they hadn't passed a rules package. It's so we couldn't even have the camera angles. This is absolutely mm -hmm. high drama, crazy stuff. I can't but, imagine how McCarthy and McHenry, who I was heaping praise upon earlier for their, you know, <laughs> skills today, yeah. how, how must they be but feeling? But as you said, well, somebody, wait a second. somebody lied to them. Somebody, yeah. somebody, somebody lied. I want to make a point, I make a point about this. My patients early, right when it happened, people were telling me it was Rosendale. Rosendale who committed the first act of treachery, but now- Because he was like, supposed to vote president. It looks like maybe they were all in it together. <laughs> I mean, There's only one group of people throwing a tantrum, giving ammunition to the left-wing media and the Democrat party, and that isn't the America First Freedom Caucus. If anything, this shows you the problem in Washington. This is what happens when you question their power. Maybe this is why they hated Donald Trump so much. When Donald Trump got in their way, they all threw a bunch of hissy fits and schemed behind the scenes, team up with Democrats and destroy his character. This shows you how these Washington authoritarians act when their power is challenged, like a bunch of damn thugs. And that's exactly who and what Mike Rogers is. That's my opinion. It's the only way to describe him. You know, the same way I feel about gangbangers and street criminals who try to act like tough guys when really they're just a bunch of insecure punks victimizing other people and flying off the handle because they simply cannot control their emotions. It's the same kind of psychology. Like I mentioned earlier, it's the same kind of thing we see from Antifa goons. What an absolute, utter, embarrassing moment for the establishment geo. OP. That's what I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel if you guys are up for it. I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.